is er ook een lente. Welcome back to SA Overlander. The first production tryout grandiers are rolling off the line at Ineos Automotive State of the Art Hambach plant in preparations for its launch of its vehicles in July. Ineos acquire, acquired the Hambach facility in January 2021 and, and was investing in the facilities uh, with a highly skilly, wo skilled workforce. Um, as I can recall, is where Mercedes-Benz and uh, Swiss watch operator, uh, they used to make the smart cars and they uh, changed the whole line and added some new robots and all these lovely things um, to uh, upgrade the facility uh, for the line to be ready for the building of the Grenadier. And uh, in the footage is the first footage ever uh, inside the factory where you will notice where they uh, are building the Grenadier that is a very uh, insightful to see this because no one does this no other car motor company is so uh, what is the word um, open uh, towards its clients uh, even when it comes to let you sit in the uh, or in the Grenadiers, uh, in the proto uh, prototype vehicles. Uh, Hambach is only 200 kilometers from the Ineos Automotive Operational Base in Stuttgart. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, they're very close by to each other. So from the design point of view in the factory, they are very, very, very close. Um, the production prototypes uh, rolling off uh, on the line at Ineos Hambach plant signal the final stage in the comp company's transition from a project to automotive uh, manufacturer. Since acquiring Hambach in January 2021, Ineos has invested over 50 million uh, pounds in addition to the 470 million pounds invested in 2019 by Mercedes-Benz uh, in the plant in an all new production line. The line now dedicated to the Grandier includes the new fully automated body shop, new semi-automated paint shops and upgraded general assembly facilities. Hambach also benefits from a new high-tech quality assessment center. Having taken just 12 months to reconfigure the new line for the Grandier, Ineos is nearing the end of its first production type to try out the PTO1 phase. And now obviously uh, Ineos plans was to have its facilities in Wales, the factory built in Wales, but it, it just did not make, uh, was just not cost effective for them. Uh, and also in the area, they, they also had to then retrain or train staff uh, for the production of the vehicle and so on, where this factory was ready almost ready 99 percent ready to run and uh yeah uh I, and so it did not make economic sense for ineos um uh, to 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 carry on because obviously that would have affected the cost too of the vehicle uh the grenadiers is crucial for defining the assembly process and also provides the engineering team with production representative vehicles for the final rounds of testing for the certification of the Grenadier. The PTO2 phase starts in March to validate the assembly process and, and the build quality before production of the launch series vehicles proves out to be uh, out the su supply chain, logistics and the build rate. Now they already ordered worldwide over 70,000 of these vehicles. So uh, 
yeah, and it's very exciting. Uh, you can imagine when it actually launches how this vehicle uh, order rate will go up. Uh, in parallel with preparations in all the commercial parts of the business to continue at a pace to ensure Ineos is ready for its customers, over 100 sales and service partners around the world have been nominated and contracted and have been signed with parts distribu distribution and uh, finance partners. So, uh, yeah, that is, uh, you know, they've Boss Service Centers has been incorporated, BMW has been incorporated because obviously it's got a BMW engine in it. The best engines in the world for this vehicle currently, especially the diesel engine on the BMW side. Um, so that is very exciting for us. I stand under correction that I think the Grenadiers reservations is now open for the last six months. Um, and so it's it's gone very well for Ineos so far. Uh, Dirk Hellman, the CEO of Ineos Automotive, uh, in his own words, he said, we want to deliver a vehicle that's ready and we won't cut corners. With the benefit of the highly skilled and experienced team in Hambach, as well as the experience, expertise in the safety and quality that we have employed, we are on target to begin serious produ production in July. So, so that could not so they are on track uh, you know um, you know normally people say oh well they're going to launch and then there's delays and all kind no it's, you can just see in the footage in the factory they are so prepared and they are so ready and 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 so transparent for us to to see uh, the factory and the testing of the vehicles and the testing on the test track and and so forth uh, yeah, it's it's amazing uh, full pricing and specifications will be announced in April 2022, but it's not going to be cheap. When customers in Europe and Asia and Africa, Pacific and the Middle East can finalize their orders either direct, directly with Ineos online or via their local retailer. North America will follow shortly. Well, this is it from me, my side. Please like and subscribe. Uh, it's highly appreciated. My channel cannot do with you guys, uh, without you guys. So, uh, and I'll see you on the bright side. Cheers.